Hi, this is a comment from a visitor. He says, Dave, thank you. I have a full wave closed loop. Now, I'm assuming a full wave closed loop is horizontal here because an 80 meter full wavelength closed loop is 80 meters around. Multiply that by three and you come up about 240 feet ish or more than that. Okay. And he uses it on all bands from 80 on up and it can be done. Now it has a really weird propagation pattern. It'll send some signal out here, but nothing out here and then a lot out here and then nothing and so on. He had used it with the two to one ballon on a coax feed line connected to a corner and used it with a tuner. On mine, I used a four to one ballon and I used pretty heavy coax coming down into the shack because if you run the ladder line into the shack, you have the real possibility of if the thing is mismatched of getting RF in your shack. I had that problem. So first I ran the, the coax out to a four to one ballon that was just outside the shack. And later I got a very sturdy four to one ballon, put it up there on the corner and fed it with coax. Now, uh, what happened to the mismatch of the antenna system behind the tuner? Now, you realize that most tuners have little knobs on the back that you can connect the two wires of a balanced transmission line to. And there's a 4 to 1 balance right inside the loop. Let me show you. This is the MFJ901B. It was my first piece of MFJ equipment. I got it like 30, 35 years ago. And you connect that to the transmitter, that to the antenna. Here's where you connect ground. And then if you want to do a balanced output, you connect a little jumper from here to here and then connect your balanced line across here. And this will get you where you need to go. Or you can connect a random wire here and it will tune the random wire and forget the balanced line. Okay, so almost all antenna tuners have these on the back. You can tune a balanced line with that. Now, I'll tell you a secret. When I fixed up, renovated, an old uh, Butternut HF9B, I uh, found that it performed better than the loop under almost all conditions. And so I took the loop down and cut it into 25 foot or 20 foot radials for my antenna, which improved its performance even more. So the loop is an interesting antenna. It's good for NVIS on 80, 40, and it really doesn't get down to the horizon until about 20. So mm, it works. Yes, it works. It's also, if you use gray wire, it's essentially invisible, especially if you're running through trees. So until we next meet, 73.